everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with some brand new AEW action figure news. Yes, we just broke some news the other day with some brand new AEW action figure news, but today we are back again, man. And we got some brand new figure images of AEW Unrivaled Series number 8. Now, I want to start off with this figure right here, man. We already knew about the wave. We already knew about the wave. John Moxley, Chris Jericho, Orange Cassidy, Chuck Taylor, Trent, and Chris Statland. But I want to start off with this figure right here, man. We got to talk about this Chuck Taylor, because my God... God in heaven, man. I did not know if it could be done, but I think they have done it again, man. I can tell you with pretty much good certainty that I think this is the worst head sculpt we've seen so far from Jazzwares and AEW, man. I do not like this head sculpt whatsoever. In the render image, we thought it was bad. But this just, I don't, I don't know, man. This just doesn't look like they scanned his face. You know, we've seen really good head sculpts from Jazzwares before. I think, like, Jungle Boys is, like, perfection. I think Matt Jackson's first head sculpt was perfection. The Luchasaurus is godly. The Kenny Omega scans that we've seen are pretty good. The Cody Rhodes scans that we've seen are impressive. This one misses the mark completely. Very weird looking figure in the face, man. I am not a fan of this head sculpt. I'm already looking forward to his next head sculpt because I am not a fan of this one right here, man. You guys can see the expression's kind of goofy. I know Chuck Taylor's a little bit of a goofy guy, all right? However, that doesn't mean that he needs to look like this. So I don't know if they didn't get him in scanned or what, but I don't know. This figure is just very off the wall to me. I do like his open elbow pads. I, I mean, the gear is what it is. He doesn't have the most exciting gear anyway. He does have his, like, working man shirt right there. You got the best friends going on. You know, he's looking all right. He's got his Kentucky gentleman going down on the butt cheeks right there. I mean, I like Chuck Taylor a lot. I think he is underrated. However, I am not a fan of this figure, man. I, I am just not a, a fan of it. But we do have his best friend. We have Trent in the set. And Trent looks pretty good. I like the Trent figure. I do have my gripes about it, which we're going to get into, of course. You know, MDT, got a gripe about the figures, right? But we do have Trent right here. He has his Dolph Ziggler boots on, which I love. I think it's awesome that they're giving him his own one-of-one -one sculpt here on the boots. It may be Lance Archer boots here, but they've repainted them, so it does look like the Dolph Ziggler style, you know, with the with the multi-straps going on. You got his, like, swirly-looking tights going on. I, I think this head sculpt looks like him. I think this looks like Trent. I, I like what we got going on. Another rubber jacket. Yes, Chuck Taylor also had a rubber accessory. Get used to that, because it's pretty common here in these figures. One thing that I noticed about it, though, is that he has a Matt Hardy Chris Jericho torso, which was very interesting to me. I would have thought for sure, if you guys have seen Trent before, I would have thought for sure they gave him the Bucks, Cody, Kenny Omega style torso, and they should have given him some stomach and chest hair. I don't know why they left that off. I think that would really complete the figure. I like the, like, everything else going on with it. It looks like it's probably going to be one of the better figures in the set, if I had to say, but this Trent figure I like. I just think it's missing chest hair. It's missing stomach hair. I like the gear. I like the boot molds, all the different things. I just don't know why they went with this torso. I honestly do not. Maybe it will be something where we can switch some Bucks on on there or, or something like that. I know we'll probably have to get rid of the black wrist tape depending on what we do, but I think he would benefit from some from some chest hair, man. He really needs chest hair, but Trent's looking pretty good. I like the Trent figure a whole lot better than the Chuck Taylor, but you know the best friends can't be complete without good old Orange Cassidy. We have Orange Cassidy with a second figure. Now, this is pretty much just a base re-release, and uh, I understand that people are not going to like this figure for a lot of reasons. Now, if we get into it, you guys can pretty much see from head to toe, it is the Unrivaled Series 3 Orange Cassidy from head to toe, I think I, I have been told by the photographer of this image that the head sculpts are virtually the exact same. He's got his glasses. He's got his denim jacket and shirt combo. They did change the shirt combo, but he does have his thumbs up. He's got his flat hands. He comes with mic holding slash grapple hands, but he doesn't have a right hand to put in the pocket. So unless you own the Series 3, you're not going to be able to put his hands in his pockets here, as you guys can see. I mean, I guess you could use the mic holding hand, but it's not going to go flat in there like his left hand would for the pockets hand. So that's just a small detail missed out right there. I really, 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 really wish they would have went with some molded pants. If Jazz wears anybody that works there, anybody that designs the figures is listening to this video, please make the next Orange Cassidy where the crotch and the legs are molded, they're sculpted, where he can articulate just like any other figure, like Moxley, like Kenny Omega, like these other guys, 
have him a crotch that's molded and then have his jogger pants like sculpted on there that have movable legs. That way, you can use your pocket feature, you know, Orange Cassidy, to do the pocket feature. And then when you want to move it around or wrestling in the ring, you can use the version that can articulate all over the place. Because this figure cannot articulate. It has a very troubled time doing so. It's very, it's pretty much impossible. And it would help a lot of people out. And people would be forced to buy both versions so that they can do the pocket feature and do the pose around feature. So you get the best of both worlds there. So please, God, do that for the next Orange Cassidy. It would be really great to see that, but Orange Cassidy, I still love. I'm still going to grab this figure. We're going to do the review. We're going to get all the good stuff, but that is something I had to say about Orange Cassidy. Now, diving into Chris Statlander, this figure right here may be the best women's figure they've made to date. Absolute beast right here. I love the way this figure looks. I like the colors going on. I like the boot mold. I like the tattoo. I like everything going on with this figure. It is sick. This is a really sick figure. I wish that you couldn't really see the ball joints in the inner thighs right there. It kind of looks a bit odd staring at the figure. However, really great figure. I like the tattoos. I like the gear. I like the boot molds, the knee brace, like all this stuff going on with Chris Statlander. Like this pose right here and the fighting pose, she looks like she's about to kick some ass like Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. So that's something I really like. It looks like she's going to be very poseable, very articulated. I think that this figure may be able to kick Tay Conti's and Britt Baker's ass for best female figure that AEW and Jazzwares has ever made. We'll have to see about Anna Jay's figure when we get that, but it's really nice to see our women's roster kind of coming together. You know, we're really seeing it come together here. It's very nice to see we're adding up and adding up and adding adding up. We pretty much have a whole full-fledged division just about, so that's pretty cool right there. But Chris Statlander looks like a beast. Really excited for that one. Probably one of the ones that I'm most excited for in this entire set. This should be a really good one. I can't wait for it. But let's move into the last two in the set, which is going to be the Chase variants and the regular versions. We'll cover the regular versions, then we'll run it back in Chase variant versions and cover all that. So starting out first with Mox, guys, we do have him in his plain black pants with his orange mocks on there. It's a repeat head sculpt of the Series 5 head sculpt. You guys will see again, it is a black rubber leather jacket once again. And, I mean, that's just disappointing, man. It's really disappointing to see. Uh, just the continued use of the rubber is just odd to me. Also, is it me or are these pants slimmer? These pants look like a new mold. I could be wrong about that. It just kind of looks like he has, uh, like the lower legs don't look as bulky, which I really like. It kind of creates like a slimmer looking figure. I hope his joints are nice. I like this Mox, actually. I like this Mox a lot. It's not as New Japan gear. It is in more, you know, long, long pants or jogger type cargo pants with the mocks on there, but I actually like it. I actually don't have a problem with it. I hope that he poses around better than his others. I hope his joints stay tighter than the others. We'll have to see about those things when we get it in hand, but I like the mocks. I just wish we got a different head sculpt for this guy. It would have been a lot better, but, uh, you know, we, we know what we're getting. It's kind of plain Jane, but I know that it's going to sell because it's Mox. What do you want? Now, next up, we have the regular Chris Jericho figure, and this is a very sick Jericho. Now, I know that it's kind of a repeat Jericho, right? Like, we've kind of seen this before. He's got his Inner Circle t-shirt on. He's got his Painmaker face paint, right? He's got his, like, clown-style makeup on. He's got his hat. His leather jacket with the spikes is really sick. It is rubber, but at least it has some spike detail going on with it. He's got his scarf. He's got all his good things going on. I really wish we had, like, an image of him with his jacket off, but it's not the biggest deal. It's actually a sleeveless shirt, so you do get the full tattoos for Chris Jericho. And this is probably one of his better figures. Like, I know it's a repeat head sculpt, but when you get that paint maker face paint on there, it really brings it to life. You get the inner circle shirt, so you can pop that on a different Chris Jericho. He does have plain Jane tights, but, I mean, it's Jericho. I don't know. You know, there's a lot of details missing, but I really like this jacket and all those different things. But that's the regular Jericho. And then you do have the Chase Variant Mox figure and the Chase Variant Jericho. Now, the Chase Variant Mox is going to be his New Japan gear or his, you know, his wrestling biker trunk style gear here with the Mox on the side. Really sick figure. I like the knee pads, how they're sculpted on. It is pretty much the same figure from the waist up. It's got the leather jacket, one of 5,000 Chase Edition, same Series 5 head sculpt, same two-pack head sculpt that we've seen multiple times over. However... I, I like it. I think it's pretty dope. I know a lot of people would want this figure loose, so that kind of sucks. Uh, hopefully, they'll re-release this guy in the biker trunks down the line, because I know a lot of people are going to want this figure in the New Japan style gear. That's just what I call it, you know, because he wrestled in New Japan with this gear. That's just what I call it, but I know a lot of people are going to want their hands on it, but it's still a nice looking figure. I like the way it looks. Uh, you know, again, I hate that it's the Chase variant, because I know a lot of people want it, but that is the 1 of 5,000 Chase is the mox there. And then we do have the 1 of 3,000 Rare Edition Chris Jericho, which is pretty plain Jane. I mean, it's it's definitely, you would think that the pain maker would be the chase, but this is another plain Jane chase here with the jacket, the scarf. It's basically the Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho with the pain maker style jacket and a baseball bat. Kind of a really plain figure, not too much going on with it. I think it looks just like the shop 
exclusive Jericho coming very soon as well. So, I don't know, man. Lots of re-release, lots of same molds and usage and things of that nature. But uh, at least it's not one of those highly sought-after chases. Watch, this will be the chase that I find, right? It'll be the one that I don't even give a damn about. I'll find six of them. Watch, just watch, just watch. I'll find six of these. I mean, I'd like to have every chase variant, mock and loose. I'm doing a very terrible job of that mission, but... Mission failed at this point, but uh, that is AEW Series number 8 Unrivaled, man. I'd love to know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below on the full set. I think overall, kind of, I don't know. I mean, I like Trent. I like Chris Statlander in the set. I like the Mox. I think Cassidy's very weak because it's very similar to his first figure. The Jericho is solid. I like the Jericho that it changes up just a little bit. Still not a new head sculpt, but I still like it. Chuck Taylor's kind of a failure there. A lot of dark colors in this wave. Not a lot of, like, bright and colorful stuff going on. You do get Statlander, which is nice. But uh, I would like to see some more lively characters, some more colorful stuff going on. So we'll have to see about that. But that is going to wrap up today's video on our AEW Unrivaled Series number 8 images, man. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Do you feel the same way as me? Do you think? What do you think about the chases? What do you think about the regulars? Do you think the Chuck Taylor is god-awful like me? Let me know all the things down below, man. But I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys to stay up to date on all the good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like Chuck Taylor did when he decided to have this head sculpt. Not his fault. But whoever, whoever did, did approve this, man, come on now. You crossed the line, I've been beat.